Welcome back to Data Test Tutorials. I'm Carl, and this video is about measuring things. In this case, measuring things in images. So let's drag and drop these three random images into our program. We have three images, and we took these three images because it's one set of the L images. One set of the L images consists of two L images, image 0 and 1. They're slightly different, as you can already see, and the background image, which is just plain and boring background. Let's check out the intensities we can see here. For this, we use the crosshair tool. You can move the crosshair tool, crosshair tool over the complete display and wherever you want to save a number you click the left mouse button. You can decide whether you want to see all three coordinates, x, y and z in this case, or whether you only are interested in the intensity. If you change pictures or picture layers, for example with our time slider here in the bottom, or with the left and right mouse key, you see that these numbers are automatically updated. Back to show the coordinates as well. If you don't want to see these crosshair tools again, just go either on show and hide and show them, or just remove them all. The next tool is the ruler tool, and the ruler tool is not just useful to measure things. Reset. This ruler tool can also be used in order to scale your image to physical coordinates. For this, just type on set scale and measure a known distance, for example from here to here. As it turns out, this distance is 0 0.1, 0 0.75. 0.75, you might ask, what? Well, the unit in X SBU, shiny bottle units. So one of these PV cells is 1.75 shiny bottle units. I just measured this before. And now we can see that, for example, Another feature from here to here is 0.14 shiny bottle units, and the length of this scratch is 0.21 shiny bottle units. You can also select features by hand. For this, go to the selection tool and click on Add. And then you basically can draw a shape around your selection. When you're done, just click on done. This we don't need it. If you want to measure the area of this selection, just click on measure areas. Then you will see these areas in pixel by pixel. At the moment there's no physical area um, transferation. It's just in pixel square mode. You can also modify your selection. Or selecting other selection tools. At the moment, this is freehand, but you can also create a rectangle. Or an ellipse. Here we go. From all these selection tools, you can create a mask. This means you extract the information under the selection into a new display. Well, but at the moment we don't need these selections anymore, so let's just remove it. One important thing in electroluminescence measurements 
as to know what quality your image is of. And one important parameter of quality is the so-called signal-to-noise parameter. In data test, there are two different methods of calculating the signal-to-noise parameter included. You can find the signal-to-noise parameter button in here. This green one is the tool for measurement and there's our tool signal to noise. So the first and standard method that there is is a method which is currently discussed in an IEC standard draft. It is a draft at the moment but it might become standard at some point. In this method you need two EL images and one background image. As it turns out this is exactly what we have at the moment. So let's decide which of these three images is our background image. Display 0. Power off. This looks pretty much like a background image. And the second image is the second image, the equivalent image. Now you only have to press activate and then you see it. This is our signal to noise parameter, which is in this case 46. Well, not too bad, but what does this mean? I mean, it's an average parameter. What would you do if you would like to know what the signal to noise parameter in this area would be? Why should you even care about these questions? Well, you would care about these questions if you would care about intensity and certainty of your picture. So, in case you want to have the spatial resolved signal to noise ratio, or you only have one single EL image or one single image whatsoever, you don't have a second image and you don't have a background image. Then you can use this second method, which is at the moment lacking a cool name. So I'm sorry, this is just temporary. In a few months, there might be a nicer name. This method also allows you to choose a bit more different options. For example, how you want to average this map in order to extract one single value from it. For example, the average is a simple average. X75 means the value which is by 75% of all signal values exceeded, but for the simplicity, simplicity just go with average. Now let's activate. This parameter is not the fastest. This tool is not very fast and it takes some time for computation, computation, but when it's done you'll see where this method is pretty cool. So we now created three signal-to-noise ratio maps. Why three? Because we created from every single picture layer from our display zero a simple signal-to-noise ratio map. And as you see here, this is the signal-to-noise ratio for our image. It basically looks like the image itself, but the scaling is slightly different. And as you can see, the average values are also very similar to our value that we created before. So what do we do if you want to save a picture that we created in Data Artist? You want to save it to file. Well, for this we use the export button. Click here. Then we have the option to choose from four different types of image exports. Original means we want to export an image as an image. So for example PNG or TIFF or bitmap or whatever. Render it means we export what we see currently. So the rendered view from here to here or the rendered view of full display doc. Or we export the values as they are to a NumPy array. NumPy is a package for Python which um, works with numeric arrays. And as I showed in the last video you can also directly import these arrays back into data test. So for now let's just save it as an original image. Since we have no negative values, we can just cut them. We don't want to stretch values because we don't want to stretch this map to a map between 0 and 255. We want to leave these values as they are, so let's not choose this option. Resizing, no, we actually are fine with the current size of our image. Let's call this one signal to noise ratio and let's save it as a PNG. Look where it is, and there it is. 
can also import our just saved signal to noise map back into data disk. And there it is. As you see here on the site, we only saved the discrete integer values. We didn't save intermediate values. Why is that? The reason behind this is that all image files only save integer values. It depends on the image depth whether we uh, save values between 0 and 255. This would be an 8-bit image or between 0 and 16,500 and something I forgot. This would be for example a 16-bit image. In case we want to save all the different values in between our integer values and we see there are a few things behind the dot. We can save this image as a NumPy array. Save this one. Let's choose another name. Maybe let's call it SNR2. Let's save it and it's saved. Here's our signal to noise ratio PNG image and here's our NumPy array. We can also drag and drop it into data just to see whether it actually worked. Well, yes. It worked, it is exactly the same image. To make sure that it's exactly the same image, let's link two displays together. Let's link first the view and then the color scale. To link the view, we want to click on the link view button and choose the display we want to link to. In this case, it's display 3. We also want to link the color bar. This means, as soon, we have changed something in this color bar. It will be also changed in the other display. So in comparison we can see that both images are pretty much the same. We go back to A. We scale back to the total image view. This concludes data test tutorial number 3, measuring things. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more, the next video will be about automation within data tests.